servo motors can easily be integrated to the ESP8266 using the servo block in FL Probe. You can connect as many servo motors to as many ESP8266 pins as are available using external 5V power supply. Add a new servo motor and select the required pin that should control the motor. Select the input option that will set the angle of rotation. Drag the analog input and a scaling block into the program and draw connections as shown. Set the upper limit of the input signal to 180 to correspond to the servo's maximum rotation limits. Then compile and upload the codes to the ESP8266. The servo black wire is connected to the GND of the ESP8266. The red wire is connected to 5 volts and the yellow wire is connected to the configured pin of the ESP8266. Turning the potentiometer will produce a corresponding rotation of the servo motor. Observe that the maximum angle of rotation of the motor is 90 degrees, which is common to the ESP8266 node MCU. To ensure that a complete 180 degrees rotation is achieved, before compiling and uploading the code to the ESP8266, locate the void setup section of the Arduino code with dot attach and include comma 544,2400. Then compile and upload the code to the ESP8266. Observe that the servo can now complete the 180 degrees rotation. Preset positioning of the servo can be done with a multiplexer, a counter, and a generator block. Double-click on the generator block and select the generator KG1 variable. Ensure that the symmetrical multi-vibrator is selected with a pulse duration of 1000 milliseconds. Connect the KG1 contact to the input of the counter. Enable when the upper limit is reached with a constant value of 5 and to set the current value to 0. Connect the output of the counter to the cell input of the multiplexer block and increase the number of inputs to 5. Right-click on the V0 input of the multiplexer block and type integer 0. Set V1 to 45, V2 to 90, V3 to 135 and V4 to 180. Finally, connect the block output to input A of the servo block. Compile and upload the code to the ESP8266. Don't forget to include comma 544, comma 2400 in the void setup section of the Arduino code. Observe the self-positioning of the servo corresponding to the preset value in FL probe. Thanks for watching. I hope this video is helpful. If so, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and click on the bell icon for more videos. Bye for now.